Tensions keep rising, wars, rumors of wars, and all the chaos going on in the world right now is off the charts. Russia and China are now warning against a cycle of retaliation as Biden threatened to target their ally, Iran, after the drone attack that killed three U.S. soldiers. Russia and China rushed to the defense of their ally, Iran, and urged the United States to show restraint in its response to the killing of the three American soldiers. The United States vowed to respond to the drone attack on the base in Jordan that claimed the lives of the soldiers, raising fears of an escalation in the Middle East conflict. Iran-backed militants have been blamed for the strike on the Tower 22 base, leading to calls at home for U.S. President Joe Biden to respond robustly and with force. The man who can fall upstairs. I can't even picture it. But in an apparent bid to temper America's expected retaliation against their Iranian ally, both Russia and China called for a de-escalation in the region. The Kremlin asked on Tuesday about potential U.S. strikes on Iranian interests, saying tensions in the Middle East were high and steps were needed to de-escalate rather than destabilize the wider region. China on Tuesday warned against the cycle of retaliation in a volatile region. The comments came after U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on Monday vowed that they would take all necessary action to defend the troops. Now, the interesting question is, and this is probably what Biden and his admin are pondering with Obama, if we retaliate against Iran as we should to show strength instead of being a paper tiger full of wind and nothing else, what will China and Russia do who are very strongly allied with Iran? Will this be the final spark that ticks everything off in the wider region and blows up that whole area with fire and flames? Quite possibly. We'll see. Quite possibly as the rapture takes place. Who knows? Pray for the innocents caught in the crossfires in all these countries. Pray for more people to come to the light of Jesus Christ and keep looking up. Shalom.